Alright, Trekkies and Trekkers, time for the third episode of View the Day with Time Squared. While the Federation Starship Enterprise is en route to their planned destination, ship sensors detect a lone shuttlecraft drifting, drifting through empty space with no power or fuel reserves. When Lieutenant Worf and Commander Riker use the tractor beam to bring it into the shuttle bay, they find it has the same name and registry as an Enterprise shuttle. Inside is a devil of Captain Picard, barely clinging to life. After the devil is brought to sickbay for treatment, Lieutenant Commander Data and Chief Engineer LaForge power up the shuttle after lengthy delays due to unexpected technical incompa incompatibility. It is then discovered that the shuttle's internal clock is about six hours ahead of the ship's chronometer, which means that the shuttle, and therefore Picard's double, is from six hours into the future. They recover a very poor quality sensor log video show that shows the Enterprise falling into an energy vortex and being destroyed after the shuttle is launched. Bum, bum, bum. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Pulaski determines that the incoherent doubles' biological functions are out of sync, but are improving as the future Picard draws nearer to his own time. Picard orders that his future self be revived, but is unsuccessful in extracting any information from him. Picard is disquieted at the idea that he would ever abandon his ship and its crew. As the crew members debate their options, they decide to continue on their current course. They are suddenly stopped by the vortex, seeing the shuttle log, and are unable to escape, even with the engines at maximum output, and become drawn further in. They send a probe into the vortex, which is immediately destroyed. Scans emanating from the vortex appear to focus on Picard, and an energy beam strikes him, leading him to theorize that there is an intelligence controlling the vortex, which seems to be interested in him personally, and that his double left the ship to draw, to draw its attention. Hmm... Picard's double, almost now almost complete now almost completely aware and coherent, sets out to leave the Enterprise as he did before. Picard follows him, considering that there must have been another option, though the double only mumbles about it being impossible. As the double is boarding the shuttlecraft, Picard proclaims that the cycle will be broken and kills him with a phaser. Dr. Pulaski wordlessly examines Picard's double with a tricorder as Chief O'Brien stares in shock. Picard returns to the bridge and orders that the Enterprise fly straight into the center of the vortex. The Enterprise comes through the Enterprise comes through the other side into normal space, and the doubles of Picard and the shuttlecraft disappear. The Enterprise resumes its course. Whew, that was a very suspenseful episode. Anyway, let's look at that in a couple of production notes. Maurice Hurley, who wrote the teleplay, wanted to write a time travel story that took place over only six hours instead of longer periods usually found. The story was originally meant to feature Q as the ultimate antagonist, but Gene Roddenberry disallowed it. The name of the shuttle pod, a lower-budget alternative to the shuttlecraft, was named with Baruch El Baza, a NASA scientist. Nice! So I would say this is a pretty interesting episode, and the whole time travel thing is actually kind of cool. So, overall, I give Time Squared 4 Warp Course out of 5. Well, join me in a bit as we take a look at the Icarus Factor. So, until then, live long and prosper, everybody.